All right, so starting a let's play of Kentucky Route Zero. Have very little context on what the game is, going in kind of blind. It should be fun. An old hound in a straw hat, both of the better days. A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painted on its side are the words Lisset Antiques, Furniture, Glassware, Curiosities. Okay. I like the uh, horseshoe waypoint. And it. Joseph sits between gas pumps in Queen Anne's armchair. His hair is grey and his glasses darkened. Damn, did you hear that wreck? Truck full of bottles. I don't know, beer bottles? Whiskey? Lost a tyre or something and spilled booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess. I hope they don't come down here looking for anything. We blew a damn fuse and it's all shut off. Did I hear a dog? What's your dog's name? His name is Homer Blue or just some dog. <laughs> it's a Homer. Bit of a shuffle or a drag in Homer's step. Kind of an old one, isn't he? Well, I guess he's got some stories then. Hey, here's some jerky for Homer. I made it myself. And it didn't turn out too bad, uh, too well. But I bet a dog will eat it. Nice. Getting late, right? I can feel the sun on my neck. I bet it's just a few feet off the horizon. Alright, so what are we going to go with? I've been driving all evening looking for five dogwood drive. Hey, I understand. you got a job you're paid to do. Maybe get some rest somewhere in there. Maybe have a drink. Then back at it. There's a dignity in that rhythm. Um, so where is Dogwood Drive? Listen, you and Homer would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of, well, to get there you've got to take the zero. The zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer to look up directions. You'll have to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker first. I'll be happy to have those winding lights back up anyway. It's too damn quiet around here. The basement door is back there in the office. Appreciate your help, friend. Oh, and here, take the slap. It gets dark. Okay. Basement people. Emily, Ben, and Bob just sit in folding chairs behind a worn card table. Papers, oddly shaped dice, and highway maps covered the tabletop. Okay, let's have a chat. Can't wait, clears his throat. Have you all seen a breaker box down here? Did you hear something? Uh, no, sorry. I was looking at the rules again. It gets easier as you go. Look, you said you rolled a five, right? 
That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? Oh yeah, I guess so. Where'd you put that 20-sided die? I don't see it. Did you drop it? Um, it should be easy enough to find. It glows in the dark. Okay, so I gotta find this dice for them and then they might notice me. A dusty, rusty sign is bolted onto the wall. These are the rules. No open flames near the gasoline. No consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. In case of sudden darkness, do not panic. Relax. Count backwards from five. And strictly limit time spent in the basement for fewer than three minutes of every hour. Okay. You just make sure the dice isn't up here. All right, we're going down. Is that it? I'm confused. Okay, let's try talking to them again, I guess. Uh, did you lose something? I think it rolled down off to the left there. But I don't see it. Well, I'm not going to go looking for it. It's too dark down there. One of you go down and get it. And I'll just study the rules here. Okay. Well, I already went down here. What am I missing? Yep, 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 yep. Ah, obvious. Conway picks up the glowing 20-sided die and inspects it. The number 5 is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comforting weight. He places the object in his jacket pocket. And they're gone. Folding chairs are arranged around a worn card table. The chairs are empty and the surface on the table is bare. I'll place it on the table. I shouldn't need it, but if it's an adventure game, you never know. Okay. Break is up. That should mean I'm done down here. There it is. Just listen to those lights whine. Uh, there were some people down in your basement playing some kind of game, but they're gone now. In the basement? No, I don't think so. Maybe that lamplight was playing tricks on you, huh? Well, strange things happen underground, especially in the dark. So, computer's in the office. You're looking for Marquez. She knows her way around these roads. She'll get you to zero. The password is, uh, damn. I usually just feel it out. Muscle memory, you know? Kind of long, kind of like a short poem, I think. One of these short poems that really sums it all up. You'll figure it out. That's uh, useful. Don't wait, tap the key, waking the computer from its reverie. Go with uh, Joseph? Stars drop away. No one saw the accident. The light. 
Saints wine. Okay. How's it going in there? Figured it all out? Sure you are. Let's go straight for the address book. Let's get Dogwood Drive. Great. Let's try the zero. Okay, going in circles here. Mark where it is. Marquez Red Residence, 100 Makono Lane, head north east on 65 and turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's always on fire. Look for the barn at the base of the mountain there. Can't miss it. Got it? Out there on Makono somewhere. Right? Yeah, that's it. Hey look, while you're down there, I loaded that old TV of mine into your truck. I borrowed that thing from Weaver Marquez a number of years ago. And now that the power is all weird over there, I can't pick up anything but static and public access anyway. She was always more of a reader, but maybe she'd want it back at home. It's a nice TV. Okay, come on Homer. Let's get out of here. Mm. Take it easy Homer. Conway is ready to leave. Ah. Don't recall too much already. North on 65 rings a bell. Head north east on 65, yep. And turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's always on fire. Uh, not very promising. to have seen a tree. I wonder if I'm meant to be listening for the tree. A young man in a grey stained cloth sits by the side of the road. He is playing a worn guitar. To his left is a blue mug and to his right a weathered dog. Pet the dog. The dog closes its eyes and pretends to be asleep. The young man strums absently on the guitar, hums tunelessly and occasionally mumbles a word. Put a dollar in the cup. The young man stops playing. Pulls the wet dollar bill out of his whiskey and hands it back to Conway. <laughs> Alright, what's uh where am I going wrong here? What forgot to do? Head northeast on 65 and turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's always on fire. I can't go any higher. It has to be this way. Do I just go back to the old man and ask for better directions? Yeah, 
That's all I've got. Oh, burning tree, here we go. An easy miss. Uh, it's all black oak burns on a hill above the road. Okay, we could have been lost there for a good while. Street lamp lights the base of a dusty path leading up the hill. Okay, I guess we're going up the hill. Game's got a strange eeriness to it. The family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate. Let's go up to the house. Sure. I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? Um, no, I've never been here before. I know, it must seem very strange to you. I was here when this house was built, so it's never been strange to me. There used to be another house here, but we we had it destroyed, and we built this one. It was very expensive and we got quite underwater. <laughs> what do you do for work? Is it too difficult, or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? Um, I drive deliveries for a small antique shop. I believe it's hard times for a small antique shop. It's hard times ev everywhere, even out here on our little farm. My parents stopped paying the bank a while back. I shouldn't even be here, but I just stayed. I have some notebooks. I'm only a little bored. I might prefer to watch TV occasionally. Actually, I have a TV here that I think belongs to you. Will you please set it up? Then I can explain to you how to get where you're going. Zero. I know. Sure, sure, why not? I don't like how Zero is always covered in scary, dark matter. It's got a nice style, this game. That's not how it's supposed to look. You've made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign object to you? Which of your parents was it who wouldn't allow you to watch television? Ma thought she heard ghosts in the static. I know about that. She was ill, wasn't she? Mentally, I mean. Kind of distant. Fearful. No, things just had to be a certain way. You have it all backwards. I'm not surprised, are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, can't we? Look closely at the television. Nope, we completely missed the television. God damn it, can't we? Focus. Hey, hey, wake up. You spaced out for a minute there. What do you keep out in that barn? Used to be tools and feed, then books. Now I think it's mostly spiders. That TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living. Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. So I really just need to get to the Zero. Honestly, I'm not convinced you should bother with the Zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin and fix my TV. But I'll get you headed the right way. So it's pretty easy. 
Get back on the 65 heading north, then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your, arri your arrival at the zero is basically inevitable. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. The disused wood burning stove is set up in one ash dust corner of the room. It's cold to the touch. An abandoned spider web stretches across the bottom of a thought pan. A skillet is seasoned with dust. I don't like this place. <laughs> 